Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be assembling our wall frames of our architectural model. So what we're gonna need for this video is we're gonna need our four wall frames. So one door frame, three standard wall frames. We're also gonna need our four eight inch top plates, right? So these are gonna be double top plates. This is how we're gonna be attaching our wall frames today. So the first step that we're gonna do is we're going to set up our wall frames for assembly. Okay, and so while we're doing this, what you wanna do is you're going to put your wall frames together right here. Make sure that they are lined up as close as possible to being even, right? And so my suggestion is that you use a little piece of tape and then tape two of those wall frames together, right? And so I have my first two wall frames here. I'm gonna use two pieces of tape, one on the top, one on the bottom to keep those together. And I don't need to go all the way around, I'm just taping them on the sides right here, okay? And so that's the first wall frame right here. And so now we're gonna do this side right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my second wall frame. And so remember, when we're assembling this, one of our wall frames has to be on the inside edge of the wall. This is on the inside edge of our wall right here. And so this wall frame on the other side is gonna be on the outside edge, right? So same thing in the back. One wall frame is gonna be on the inside edge. And so we'll put this one on the inside edge right here. We'll put this one on the outside edge. Yeah, that'll be better. Okay, so this one is gonna be on the outside edge. So if you can see that. So if the inside edge would be on this side, right? This is the outside edge. Just like when we constructed our model in SketchUp, okay? And so again, I'm holding that in place, just putting a little piece of tape here. Like I said, I'm not going all the way around. I'm just having it hold in, held in place by that tape, right? And my second piece of tape will be down here on the bottom. Okay, and so these tape, this piece, this piece of tape can be scotch tape. It can be anything that you have, right? So there's two sides, and so now we're going to rotate our piece around to get our fourth side. Okay, and so rotate this around right here. Okay, and so now we have our fourth side ready. So I'm going to place this, and so remember we put. One on the inside, so this side is going to go on the outside edge, and then this one is going to be on the inside edge, right? So if we're looking right here, if I bring this over, you're going to be able to say that this is on the inside edge, and the other one is going to be on the outside edge when I tape them together. Okay. So I'm going to fast forward this for you, and then we'll get to attaching our double top plates. Okay, so now we have all four sides done, right? So this is on our inside edge, okay? You can see that this one is on our outside edge. Go to the back, we have the outside edge and here is the inside edge, okay? And so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be placing our double top plates, okay? And so this is what's going to uh, keep our structure together, right? So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to do this corner. So if we come over here, we're going to do this corner first. So I'm going to get my glue. I'm going to dip my dipstick in here, right? So this is what I'm going to be gluing it with. So I'm going to put off all the excess if I can, right? And so this is going to be my stick that I'm going to be gluing. And so now I'm just going to start right here and I'm gonna start applying that glue along my top plate, right? And so I wanna have a good amount, right? Especially right here on the end where that, where that piece is gonna be glued together, right? And it has to all come all the way down to about right here, right? So we wanna make sure that we have enough glue going along the whole end. I don't know if you can see this, okay? And then once we cover that up, then we're gonna apply our first piece, right? And so this is gonna be our double top plate 
connecting our front wall to the first edge. Okay, and you can see that this is overlapping right here, okay? It's overlapping on this corner, and this is what's connecting this wall to this wall. Okay, and so now I'm gonna come over on this corner, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, so I'm gonna be having another double top plate, right? And I'm connecting this wall to this wall, right? So let's view that a little bit better. And so with this, guys, you got to have patience, right? You got to have a little bit of patience. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be probably the most difficult part of the project, putting this together. Okay, but have some patience. Make sure you tape your tape your edges together, like I showed you. Okay, tape your edges together, and take your time. Okay, take your time. Because what, what you don't want to do, guys, is rush through this, right? Rush through it and then end up breaking your, breaking your model, right? We don't want to break our model, okay? Definitely don't want to break our model after all that hard work that we put into this thing, okay? And so now we're applying our double top plate from here to here, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I am going to put a little bit of extra glue I'm going to put a little extra glue right here, right? And we put it on all the sides so that way when this dries, it will be extra strong. Okay? All right. So another thing that you can do is if is if you have some wood that is warped a little bit, right? What you can do is you can apply another piece of tape over that double top plate, kind of keeping it in place, right? So that way it doesn't move, okay? Okay, so now we're going to rotate around, and now we are doing our third edge, okay? So these walls should be lined up like this, okay? And again... We're gonna apply a little bit of we're gonna apply a little bit of tape. And so this is gonna connect this wall and this wall, right? This is our third double top plate. Okay, so we got our glue. Get all that excess off. I'm doing a pretty good amount of glue right here. Okay. Especially on that corner. I'm just gonna bring it down. And then I'm just gonna bring that glue all the way down. And bring it back around, spreading that glue as glue as even as possible, right? Try not to make a mess. Get some on this edge right here so that way the that way it sticks to it. Okay. And so now we're on our third, our third one. We're almost done. Do you feel it? The excitement? Do you feel the excitement, right? Okay. All right. So now we're going to rotate around again. And now we're on the, to this last one, right? So this is going to be attaching this one is going to be attaching our last corner together, right? So you can see here, so this is going to attach. This wall to this wall, okay? And so let's do our glue. So again, I'm just spreading it all over, the, spreading that glue around, right? Kind of holding it in place while I'm spreading. Like I said, this was probably the most difficult part, right? This is definitely going to take the most patience. <clears throat> and so now we're going to be attaching here to here.
right? So now we have our corners. So all our corners should be nice and even now. Okay, so our corners should be lined up. And like I said, so once we have all these once we have all these corners lined up, then we are going to kind of tape down our double top plates and that is it. So we should have all four done, right? You should all your walls should be attached. And so this is the final this is your final picture, right? And so when you bring it down to the front, it should look like this, right? And so this is the end of the video, guys. So this is what you should be turning in. Your second picture, right? Your first picture is of your door frame. Your second picture is of your walls fully assembled with the double top plate. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys later.